Hello, my name is Stephanie Wells. I'm standing here next to my RV7 that I've had for about five years. And um, I just love this plane. I don't see ever needing anything else. Uh, but I'm gonna tell a little bit about myself and then uh, I got into the RV world. Uh, way back when, back in the 70s, uh, I got my pilot's license when I was in college and I was just so taken by aviation and uh, then I joined the Air Force but I was a weather forecaster as opposed to a pilot because uh, back then they didn't let women be pilots. But uh, So I kept flying uh, privately as a civilian pilot and then the Air Force announced they were going to let women be pilots so I was just in the right place at the right time. And I got into pilot training, but by then I had about 500 hours. I had a commercial instrument rating. I'd done some aerobatics. I'd uh, had a little job towing gliders. So uh, then my real career was launched. And uh, in the Air Force, I was a, a T-37 instructor pilot. Then I flew WC-130s. And then I was a T-38 instructor. And all during this time, I kept, I kept my hands in in general aviation as I could. I became a flight instructor. Uh, civilian, a CFI, and I would uh, do some instructing on the side and I uh, really enjoyed that. And then at the 10 year point I had to decide whether to continue my career or to uh, get out of the active duty and I decided to do that because I really wanted to keep flying and not fly a desk. So I uh, joined the reserves instead and flew uh, the C5 Galaxy for the next 10 years. Um, meanwhile I got the civilian job of my dreams which was not an airline pilot, but I got a job as a staff pilot for NASA at Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. And there, I got to continue flying the T-38 and a number of other interesting aircraft, uh, the uh, shuttle training airplane, which is a modified Gulfstream G-2, uh, the KC-135 that we used for the, uh, the Zero-G parabolas, maneuvers. The, the vomit comet. The vomit comet, yeah, that, that was great <laughs> fun. And yeah. I flew a G1, which we just used to fly you know, the bosses around. And, uh, so there was a nice variety. Meanwhile, I was that was in Houston, and my reserve unit was in San Antonio. Now a four hour drive, about a one and a half hour flight. So I bought into a Mooney as a partner, and used that Mooney to, to commute back and forth to San Antonio. Anyway, so uh, I really, I'm from Colorado, this is my home, and my family's all here, and I finally decided I wanted to live here. So I left NASA and worked for the uh, Denver FISDO as an FAA operations inspector for the next seven years until I could retire. And while I was here, I got to thinking, a fun little high performance, kind of high performance plane would be fun to have. And I didn't know anything about RVs. So, I first um, I found a little ad on an airport bulletin board for an RV6 partnership, and I went up to look at it. I was up at Erie, a friend of mine, and uh, he said, well, let's just go fly it. And I'm afraid that's what sold me. Uh, he let me fly it in left seat and land it. Because I had enough tailwheel time that I was fairly proficient. And, uh, but he said, no, I'm not going to do the partnership, so I'm just selling the airplane outright. So I bought it. And I had the RV6 for like four years, and then I was flying, uh, got to know these guys here. Um, they all have RVs of various, mostly RV8s, but various things. And I really wanted to get into formation, because that's what I did in the military. And I really thought it was just about the most fun thing you can do. So we started putting together little formation flights and we got more and more proficient. And uh, finally, uh, the leader of our group, Jim Gray, came up with the name, the Rocky Mountain Renegades, and we started doing performances. My little RV6 with an O320 engine uh, fixed pitch just wasn't really keeping up. So I started looking with a, another friend of mine who decided to be a partner for an RV7 with a bigger engine and a constant speed prop. I wanted 180 horse fuel injected. She wanted an IFR cockpit, and I wanted a tail dragger versus nose dragger. And um, so we came up with this airplane, which has all of that. It was built by a guy named Larry Driver, who lives in Arizona. 
you did an awesome job. Just the, the workmanship is just incredible. And it was already IFR certified or IFR qualified with a uh, glass cockpit. And uh, I have changed a few things. I've added a smoke system. I changed the flap system so it's, uh, you can uh, modulate it down easier. And I changed a couple of the instruments out, some of the standby instruments. And um, been flying it ever since. I, I've put probably about 400 hours on this plane. And it's, it's got around 1,200 hours now. It's a great little plane.